adjourn meeting to order. Uh, let's see, we got an agenda here. Let's uh, have the roll call. Mayor Johnston. Uh, here. Mayor Pro Tem Haney. Here. Councilmember um, Blatz. Councilmember Francina. Here. Councilmember Wyrick. Here. Okay, we have a quorum. Uh, Randy, can you lead us to the pledge? I'll, I'll stand this way so I'm not blocking anyone today. No. Um, ready to begin? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you want speaker card? Add to that and say, let us pray. <laughs> we get all that good stuff. Uh, okay, we've uh, approval of agenda. We only have the one item. Uh, is, uh, any objection to the agenda? If not, no. we're... Nope. Uh, we Move to approve if you need it. Am I looking at the right one? It says present. That was from last night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so well, let's get into it. Uh, the the council just for background for we are uh, the. Um, we received, I guess, Bill or Randy, that request for us to join in a an op-ed piece, uh, I guess, by some of the what uh, the uh, Ventura River, right. Ventura River Water, Water District, um, Senior Canyon, and uh, Miners Oaks. Okay. And uh, when it came to the council, there were some questions about clarity as to what exactly it was doing and tone and style a bit, at least for my concerns. I did meet with. Uh, Casitas, I met with the WAG, I met with, or not the WAG, but I met with uh, representatives of the uh, Water Advisory Group. I talked to Peter from Senior Canyon. Uh, this is just for the record. I talked about it last night. Who else did I talk with? Um, anyway, I, uh, with Mike Crumschmidt from Miners Oaks. Uh, I don't know what Jim's last name is, uh, his co uh, director over there in Miners Oaks, but uh, and I tried to take to take into consideration what everybody was was concerned about, and then I, I did a redraft, and then I met with Crumschmidt and went over and did another redraft. So he knows what this is, and my understanding of the purpose, aside from you know the the style and the tone, the purpose is to uh, try to assure the public that you know some things are being done and that the time is of the essence and that in order to do this in an economic way uh, it's not going to solve this the water state water thing is not a, a guarantee of anything uh, and there are problems with it uh, but if we can work together uh, not it's not any different than whatever the wag and others have said uh, we we can afford to do this if we have to go it alone it'll probably be late it'll be painful and it'll be costly uh, so in a nice way, that's what the redraft was, or at least in my view, in a nice way. Uh, the, the initial reaction from Crumschmidt was, is I was so nice that no one was going to listen. But uh, you know my bias. I think if you're going to collaborate, you, you know, the old thing about you don't kick a man in the crotch and then ask to borrow $10. Uh, it doesn't work well that way. Uh, so uh, anyway. Uh, we are here to uh, decide uh, if we are going to be a joint signature, I guess, to that op-ed piece that they plan to put in the paper. Uh, I do have cards, but is there any questions of, uh, from here at the... Uh, mm -hmm. And the no? handout was the latest version. I, I think you got the latest version. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. I know you got from Bill Miley his suggested changes. Right. Well, okay. I'd well, like to hear from the public if yeah, you go that's, over the letter okay. step by step. Okay, we uh, we have what uh, uh, I've got two cards, but uh, I'm more than willing to hear from everybody that's sitting out there that wants to, to speak. So we'll start with Bill Miley. You want to? Yes. It may take me four minutes. Okay. Um, as I said at the last meeting, I wanted to make sure that there was a coordination between Casitas and the city council before the letter went out. So I was responding last night to the old one, which was in the agenda item on the website, didn't know about the new one. Now I know about the new one. Um, Councilwoman Susan Lane didn't loan it to So I made some comments. So I have some, you know, I worked in public health for 32 years and I wrote a lot. So this is not just my style. 
And I have a passion, somewhat of a passion for public communications that work. And I'm looking at this from the standpoint of clarity and what the clear purpose is. So I have two options. One is a detailed one, and then the second one is if this is too detailed, I have just a few at the back of the, the bottom of the second page. So I would suggest, number one, that you consider a title that tells the people what this is about. And I suggest Casitas Municipal Water District Board of Directors needs to take the next step. And then you have to read to find out what that is. But you know what? The, I, number two, and I gave you two copies. The, the second copy is my scratch one. And it has all the line counts on it. Okay? So when I say line five, you should be able to go to that. Um, if this were to happen, and this is what I would rewrite. If this were to happen, homes, businesses, orchards, and farms would be on a survival supply and lose much of their value. Water supply to agriculture, business, and homes would be limited to basic needs. Okay. Number three, line seven. Much is being done, but more is needed. We don't need another dam as Lake Casitas has plenty of storage. I rewrote that. Line four, I mean four, line 10. Is decades away because of the necessary government permitting requirements. I don't like to see anything that implies that government is bad. And that, that's the way I read that original statement. It says, do do whatever, government, you know, da -dum -da -dum. make it sound like it's good. Okay, line five. Uh, this describes Casitas MWD, as has Ventura City, has participated in the state water project by sharing a future water supply allocation through annual payments. Currently, CMWD, City of Ventura, and Calais Water, end of the current state water supply line, so to speak, are in joint action to study getting state water to the west end of Ventura. Okay. That sort of says what we're talking about. Line 12. And a reservoir that has a reservoir large enough to store local water, rain. That clears the point I keep making was they don't want foreign water. Okay. By importing state water into the valley and placing directly into the distribution system, that will reduce lake water use and make it available as a backup supply. Line 13. Currently, there is no large pipe from the end of the current state water supply in Satakoy, I think that's where it is, to the Ventura West End and to the Ohio Valley. Line 17. What, what are the host problems? Name a few. There weren't any names. Okay. Line, 21, uh, line 20. Define conjunctive. I suggest joint. Define rainwater infiltration. I suggest soaking into the ground. And we're talking about the average Joe and Jane on the street that doesn't know all this stuff. Okay. Line 21, define reclamation, suggest reuse of treated wastewater from the Ohio Sanitary District. Line 23, when available, use available in some quantity. I don't remember what that's about. Okay. Line 24, emergency supply in Lake Casitas, add by storing more rainfall and not using the lake for daily needs. Line 25, this approach would cross out, minimize the threats, what threats, I say, and add, likely keep us from stage four and five water restriction. Line 31. We strongly encourage Casitas to proceed with diligence to add to this project a water supply connection to the Ohio Valley water distribution system. Line 33. A formal commitment from Casitas, add Casitas board of directors. Line 35. Um, to, bring water, to bring state water through a new pipeline into the Ohio Valley system, cross out such a sequential project, needs to support. Okay, now forget all that. Now this is the second option. Okay, first one is add the title. Second one is make sure that uh, plain person clarification is done. Define conjunctive reclamation and rainwater infiltration. Three, don't imply government permitting is a problem. Make government look good. Four, make a statement describing what Caligas Ventura and Casitas are now doing. Suggest so it makes the average non-technical person understand. And that's why I put suggestion number five, which I already wrote. Okay, the fifth one of the second option is Overall, write it to the average reader, Jane, Joe, uh, Joe and Jane, who is confused and maybe really worried. So when they read it, they'll be able to tell their kids what's going on. And then the last one, clearly state what's being asked for the Casitas Board of Directors. Suggest, 
We strongly encourage Casitas to proceed with diligence to add to this project the water supply pipe connection to the OI Valley water distribution system. Wow, that's all. That's a relief. Thanks. Okay. Um, uh, Renee Roth. Good morning, Council. <clears throat> I haven't been to an early morning meeting before, so this is interesting. Um, I did watch uh, the testimony last night on the television or when I got home, and I was here to actually talk about this earlier in the meeting, but didn't get a chance to. Um, but when I, s I, I think the letter is a great improvement, Johnny. I think it's, um, it's uh, much more uh, fact-based, but looking at it from a fact point of view, and I know you spent lots of time last night in the meeting going over the budget for the bowl and the projects and the money, and you want a detail, detail, detail. With this issue, it seems that the hookup to state water is now everybody can go talk to somebody, everybody can, you know, get the best and latest information. And I don't know how much of it is all based really on fact. And so I, I just have a, a per personal, I know the city takes big, broad sweeps on decisions like this and does, goes to the high ground. And I know you were talking about that at, at the beginning. So the more I think that we can get the, the, uh, the problems identified, the solutions, it'd be nice if we all had a report and we all felt comfortable. You know, we know what uh, additional supplies are coming. We know uh, how much rainfall we're going to get. We know that we're going to have enough wa water. From my point of view, it, it means taking the time to really get the facts before you start adding your name to things that may not, in fact, be true. And I, I want to have the, up, I have the utmost respect for what we have accomplished with our water issues in the last, you know, couple years. And I want to have, you know, that confidence in you that you are all taking that higher ground. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone else who'd like to comment? Okay. Uh, Council, you have any questions or preferences? Um, one of the things I want to point out, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, we're, we're not deliberating it. You have something to say. It's. Oh, the, <laughs> Mayor's discretion. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, thanks, Bill. My name is Russ Baggerly. I live in Miners Oaks, and I'm um, Division Five representative on the board of uh, Casitas Municipal Water District. Um, first of all, if you want to send an op-ed piece, do it. Um, I think it's a good idea. Um, however it's written, if that's what you want to do, uh, have at it. Um, I would like to uh, read to you a paragraph out of the Notice of Preparation. It's about this process that we're in. And I hope that your op-ed piece doesn't presume to think that Casitas is not in this thing uh, legitimately. Let me read this to you. Yeah, Russ, can I interject something real quick? Can you, um, because we're taped and this is the community is going to be looking at, would you like to clarify the notice of preparation? So the notice of can, preparation so for... So people can follow what you're talking to? It's for the State Water Project Interconnection Environmental Impact Report. Yeah, thank you. The notice of preparation is a requirement of the California Environmental Quality Act. Uh, it inv ad advises the public that this informational document is going to be prepared. And I understand that it may be uh, released to the public for review as early as August. No specific date, but the EIR is coming. That is the information document that uh, people, agencies, will be making their decisions on about the state water project interconnection um, project. Purpose and intended uses of the EIR, Environmental Impact Report. The city is the lead agency under CEQA, the California Environmental Quality Act. United, that's United Water Conservation District, and Casitas 
will make decisions about participating in the project based on the EIR and our responsible agencies under CEQA. Now listen to this. Cayegas will also make decisions on the proposed project and is also a responsible agency under CEQA. That means none, none of the agencies except the, the city of Ventura has made a decision about this project yet. And we can't until we have all the information in front of us. So be patient. Uh, Casitas is in this. Uh, we want to get access to our state water just like the city and just like Cayegas for phase one. Phase two may, may be that pipeline or a pipeline, not three. I don't know where Mr. Rook came up with that idea. What, what is phase one? Phase one is the interconnection between Cayegas and the city right, in okay. Satakoy. Yeah. And that brings in state water okay. uh, access for all of the, the contractors. United, the city, Cayegas, uh, not Cayegas, but um, Casitas. Mayor Bill? Johnston, I just had a question when you were okay. ready. Where? I just ask, I'd like to ask a question, okay. Mr. May. Russ, I think what you're presenting, in fact, is the issue in that this op-ed is about asking for the Casitas Board of Directors to pursue the connection between Casitas and Ventura as a project, which is not included in the project that you just described. And the point is you I'm can't sorry, even do an EIR until in, you have defined the project. Bill, that's incorrect. Okay. We are a responsible agency for that that pro project. For the interconnect. For, for the interconnection, Which yes. is not the project okay. and that's, that's get a little that we're talking about. Uh, Bill, let's get a little control of this. You said you had a question. Well, that's the but question. You, but no, you made a statement yeah. uh, that is now being reacted to as a challenge. My question thing. is, my question is, I, is, um, when will, uh, my question is, uh, isn't the project as currently defined not inclusive of a connection to Casitas yes. in terms of being that's able to get water? That's correct. That's all I, that's all I want to know. Thank you. That is correct. That will probably come along later. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. But is it part of the conversation and the negotiation between the three major parties? I'm, I haven't been to any of the, the um, negotiations, so I really don't know. I would let uh, Steve talk, talk to that. Any other questions? No, well, thank you. Thank you, Russ. Yeah. Steve, what is you know, my, my understanding from my conversations with Steve, and Steve can speak for himself, but it is that this, it is a complex problem, and there are people at the table. Uh, the difficulty is, is getting the, both the decision and the message out in a way that, as Bill Miley said, that the average person can understand. And I think this is, we're starting to get into, no offense, but so many cooks spoiling the soup. We're all trying to do our part, uh, but in all of us doing our part separately, uh, we're working at odds and people are suspicious and then if nobody answers the question, they think somebody's hiding the ball and uh, it's not getting us where we need to be. Steve? Hi, I'm Steve Wickstrom. I also live in Miners Oaks and uh, I'm general manager for the Casitas Municipal Water District. I've worked for the district for 34 years and trudged through this back in 1990 when once again we are looking at state water project and I think I shared with you a little over two years ago at the uh, meeting down at the uh, Oakview Community Center lots of thoughts of why state water may have been a good thing to have moved forward back in 1990 as compared to Santa Barbara and again we're looking at it so I'm I'm here to answer your question and it is it is a complex uh, problem but I have said in my board meetings before, I think for countywide, this is probably the best opportunity with all agencies involved to get this done, this go around. Rather than looking at a pipeline that would lead from Castaic Junction all the way into Ventura and having to create a treatment plant, what we'd be looking at is the first stage is, is, was uh, uh, forwarded by the city of Ventura. They have a uh, court order to remove water from the uh, estuary at the McGrath Beach area from their sewage treatment plant discharge. 
and they're looking at direct potable reuse. So in order to do that, they also have to have a backup supply and being a requirement of having state water available. That's where it really started probably about four years ago and really moving, moving this forward, moving this ball forward. And an exciting point to think that, okay, something as, as bad as a lawsuit and pulling water out of an estuary begins to start the ball rolling on the state water project. Um, at the same time, we were negotiating with the city of Ventura to try to bring water, keep water from leaving the district, and we were redoing our agreement, working on that part of it, and we had discussions at that time about state water coming in and in lieu scenarios. So this has been, you know, three to four years of discussion between the city of Ventura and Casitas that has been going on. So the first phase is really looking at the situation of Cayegas and the city of Ventura and that would bring the water through. But there's another player that hasn't been mentioned here yet, and that's the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, where that water be, would be brought down through the State Water Project down to uh, the area of uh, Lake Castake, and then brought into Metropolitan's uh, service area, treated by Metropolitan Water District at uh, their Jensen plant there in Silmar, and then brought through the San Fernando Valley, brought through Simi Valley, through the Santa Susana Tunnels, and into the Cayuga system, where it could be wheeled through. One of the things that, that we talked about was challenges is we're going to be meeting here very soon, when I say soon, um, probably August 30th, with Metropolitan to begin discussions about wheeling. They just recently settled a court case with, city, with San Diego regarding wheeling and have developed prices for wheeling. So that's an opportunity that wasn't there 10 years ago, wasn't there in 1990. So now we're looking at the potential of wheeling that, our, our water, through Metropolitan. We're going to find out how much that's going to cost. Um, so that's, that's another positive here that has happened here in the last couple of years that opens up doors that we didn't have when we were looking at that 60-mile pipeline coming into the city of Ventura. First stage is this pipeline that is going in, that is potentially going to go in based on decision-making process between Cayegas, their Springvale Reservoir, which is right near Spanish Hills of Camarillo, and would be brought down towards Central Avenue and would go underneath the Santa Clara River uh, just to the west of, uh, of uh, uh, well, is it Central and near the end of Vineyard, and it would provide an opportunity to tie in the city of Ventura uh, and it would also provide an opportunity to uh, provide a uh, connection for United Water Conservation District. The next thing that we're looking at though, and, and I'm going to tell you too, the other thing is there's a lot of discussion about the size of that pipeline and the benefit of that pipeline and Cayegas is very concerned about their emergency response. They have less than six months of water if they lose the um, uh, California Aqueduct and uh, or the Santa Susana tunnels and uh, they support uh, approximately 6,000 people in the Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks, Newbury Park. So you can imagine what kind of a water issue they would have if we did, did have that large earthquake on San Andreas or we lost the Delta or we lost the uh, California Aqueduct or the Simi tunnels. There's a lot of potentials that they have for failures in their system that uh, has raised concern and I am in it provides that opportunity for us to all look at the benefit of emergency preparedness and emergency response, whether it's responding to our drought problems here in the West County or the pipeline failures and in infrastructure in the east side of the county. So that's what provides the opportunity for us to sit down at the table and come to some decision-making processes and look at what system do we need, what system can we create. And that's what's going on right now with Kennedy Jinks is looking at the system looking at the operational uh, part of it. They're looking at that first phase, that 7.2 miles to bring that water into the city of Ventura. The other phase that's going on right now is looking at bringing water from east to west in Ventura. That was, oh, it has always been a problem, and basically because the city was built from the center of town where City Hall is at, outward towards the east, and as you build outward, you build smaller pipelines because you don't need the capacity. It's a problem when you want to bring water from the east side to the west. So that's being looked at as far as whether there's other lines, there's there a need for a new line to go in. Those are the topics that we're going to try to answer probably in the next two to three months and come to some determination on 
what to do on the east-west scenario. Physically bringing water into us. Now once it reaches Casitas at All in Ramona, we have a 30-inch pipeline at that location. Plenty of capacity. We just need a pump plant and a reservoir site to be able to take care of that situation. So that's, that's not a difficult feat to take care of as compared to trying to weave a, a larger pipeline through city infrastructure where there's gas lines, buried electrical lines, <laughs> old sewer lines, water lines, other things. So that's, that's what is occurring right now and uh, is in the works for the, uh, uh, the overall project. Now, the cost is going to be one of those that once we put these together, we're going to be developing costs. And, it, and I read in the letter, $100 million, um, that has potential. I mean, that's the ballpark number we were at when that's, that's we a former talked version. about in 1990. That's a former version. Yeah, okay. It doesn't say $100 million We're $800 million now? No, it, do, it doesn't have a dollar amount. Okay, all right, all right. That's probably safe to say um, because it depends on how we split this uh, – split this cost between all the agencies and who all is involved with it. Uh, there could be a variety of different ways that these costs are shared throughout the area. Now, if you want to decide that City of Ojai by itself or our collective area, Miners Oaks, Ojai, decides to do it on our own, that's going to be a hefty tab to carry for the small community that we have. So we really look to our partners at Cayegas and the City of Ventura to try to get together and do a, a good project that benefits everybody. And I think that that's there. Everybody's looking at this as real potential for benefit for everybody in the county. And now we have Oxnard potentially looking at it as far as just another emergency connection in case they lose one of their old lines that we're talking about, just a, another connection to Cayegas, and that's all. And there's no other issues in regard to that. I heard rumors, I hear a lot of rumors, but that's one rumor that I heard that the city of Oxnard was now interested. And that, that's part of the problem. I think people are out in front with some rumors and conjecture and other things that are going on, and, and it's uh, been an interesting process to go through. Well, uh, you could tell probably last night if you watched any of this, maybe you didn't, but uh, people do not understand the problem, except they understand that the lake is going down and they fear that it's going to destroy their val property values and they're going to die of thirst. Not a, not a, which is not true, yeah. but there needs to be an assurance and an explanation why it's not true. Uh, and I guess the, uh, they're, they're sort of, in my conversations and my little shuttle diplomacy efforts is that there is a group <coughs> or, or people who feel that don't connect the pipe because water runs both ways and we're this little area that we're having the, this, this uh, paranoia I'll call it paranoia, but I guess all paranoia is based on possibility. I, uh, just maybe the probability is not there. But when you folks uh, joined in on the Melarus uh, acquisition of the water system for the water basin beneath us, now there's a pipe that runs, uh, well, there always was a pipe, but now there's the opportunity for Casitas to pump water uh, just like there was for Golden State. And as the water manager, you uh, tune up the, the wells and you have this conjunctive use. Do you use more basin water uh, than you use lake water? So there are people who are saying, gee, they're going to use our water. Well, when you have water, then it's, you know, then you want to talk about, or not you. When we have water, we want to talk about our water. But when we don't have water, we want to talk about some kind of a group, you know, it kumbaya, is, yeah. and, and everybody else feels the same way. So right now, the negotiation that's going on, I presume, is to try to get everybody to understand no one is going to steal the water uh, in, you know, at least I hope that's not true. <laughs> but, uh, but by being part of a larger system with an agreement, an understood agreement of what the, you know, Casitas wants, uh, not Casitas, Callegas wants, a supply in case of emergency. That doesn't work very well if the lake continues going down and the lake continues to sell water. Uh, so they're going to say, well, if you aren't going to put water in the lake or water that we can depend on, why do we want to pay for your problems and vice versa? I mean, I know that <laughs> this gets very complicated to talk about, yeah. but, but there is that group that feels like, well, we don't need the rest of the world. We'd rather try it on our own and yeah uh, in the well in the, oh this 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 side of Ventura County has lived like that 
for over 100 years right. now. And then there's yeah. another group right here in this side of the county that is saying we need to do something to give a, a higher level of uh, assurance that, uh, like I say, you're not going to die of thirst, but we're going the fire hazards uh, and the change in the uh, topography, or not topography, what do you call it, the ge ge geography, the cultural values of the landscape. So you've got fire, you've got uh, the environment, and then you have business, uh, you have investment. And those people are all saying, you know, don't destroy uh, the values of what we have here because they don't know what we're doing. Uh, so it sounds like, you know, and you and I have talked about this extensively, that you have a large enough pipe to bring it up the hill with a pump and a, and a, a reservoir that could be moved in, not the lake, but a, a, right. a separate reservoir. So what all this questioning seems to be about is that link. And I understand that we could do a CB uh, operation in a, in a few weeks, and, and I think somebody almost handed Russ his head the other night when he said, well, we could lay pipe on the ground if we have to. Well, but we could, and they good. were doing that back in the 90s so we were, when, in an emergency. We were, we were but, bringing but, in from uh, Oxnard. Much of the public is saying, why are we going to just only do it at the last minute, mm -hmm. you know, what is the plan? So that mm -hmm. I think what Bill is, has, was getting at is that when are we going to know what the timing and the plan is for that link up? Mayor Johnson? I've, yeah, no, just let me finish, okay. please. I'm sorry I'm going on so long, but. Uh, <laughs> the, hey, can I answer you before, uh, before the I just want to clarify comes. what I was asking for. Okay, well, okay, okay. let's let Maybe this will help. Me, let you. But, but it is that link in between, and the hard part of answering that question is, is whether the city of Ventura is in it with us and is going to bring it across, and Ventura is saying, are you guys really going to be in it with us to, to help increase whatever the capacity is that we need to do? And so everybody's kind of moving towards the center cautiously, and I understand you're talking with them, uh, and you don't have a public information water person, but you're recruiting for one, right? Yeah, uh, we'll Ron's we'll be job. talking to one tomorrow, yes. Right. And, uh, and maybe this is really a key item that we're going to be focusing on. Right. And, you know, there was conversation last night at council, and there'll be more about this idea of some kind of a water coordinator. Uh, and so not right now, but it seems like there is a possibility that what you're doing and what the, a lot of the people in the Valley would hope for is somebody who communicates and coordinates all of the water issues uh, and that you have the position and the money and the need to, that that would be a place that we don't want to necessarily duplicate, but we want to get it done. So, okay, you, you answer my question, then Bill gets to, well, let me go, to let, clear up. Let, let, let me go on. backwards. You know, first of all, yes, and uh, just to, Kind of reiterate, uh, last Friday we had a little luncheon to celebrate the one year of, you know, making a transition for this community of Ojai with the water system and haven't heard much of you in the positive way in regard to that. But that, you know, quite frankly, we're here. We want to work with the city of Ojai. We have started to meet with your community development uh, director to try to get a lot of things that, quite frankly, we're going awry in this city as far as water supply, Wilshire letters, and things that we find out in the field right now, and we're trying to get it to go in the right direction. And I, I think you know it's it's good to work with your community director, uh, community development director, in getting things to go in a in a good fashion instead of the way it happened with uh, the prior uh, uh, water agency that you dealt with. So from that aspect, you know it's we are there. We do provide those services. Um, and um, we're going to do some replacements, uh, some fill in uh, the loss that we have with Ron Merkling and uh, work towards that. Um, yeah, but you know, I, I'm gonna tell you, I, unlike, unlike 1990, I've, I've you know, been in all the meetings and the positive nature that we have right now with trying to get this job done and the positive aspects that, that all agencies have um, expressed openly um, really lead me to believe that we can get this one done and do it in the right way. Um, there are going to be some things that we're going to work through. We're going to, you know, it, it's not going to be cost free, definitely, for any of us that live in Western Ventura County. But I think, you know, it's a matter of looking at those costs and saying, can we afford it? Because the other side of it is, you know, the other side. And that's what everybody else is, is really putting out there the uh, Armageddon approach of running completely out of water. Nobody wants to do that. 
Um, I don't like <clears throat> stringing pipe on roadways, but uh, in an emergency situation, I've done it many times in the Rincon area because of a lost pipe. But, you know, is it something we want to live off of for two, three, four years? No, absolutely not. So we have a golden opportunity, but the issue, true issue is right now we have many other, we have, we have two other agencies particularly that we're waiting for some type of uh, response of going ahead and particularly Metropolitan and we'll, we'll be testing that water here very soon. And then the other one is Cayegas. They have a wide variety of choices that they're looking at. I think ours is probably one of the most favorable uh, that they're looking at as far as their emergency uh, preparedness. And, uh, you know, I'm going to continue to promote that and, and, and work with that because I, I think the way, way that we've talked about structuring in loot into the city and um, uh, keeping water in the lake rather than delivering into the city of Ventura, and I'm going to say likewise with the city of Ojai, you know, keeping water in the lake, we deliver sometimes three to 500 acre feet of water from Lake Casitas into the city of Ojai. And it was mainly because the operators didn't operate their wells very well. That will change that, you know, we utilize water supplies that are available to us and save that lake for these long-term droughts, in both the city of Ojai and the city of Ventura. But I think, you know, we're waiting for, and, and I hope we'll get a response by the end of August on all these questions particularly in the regard to the Cayegas questions. And I, I think, you know, they've been very open with us. It, it, they have some choices, but um, I feel a very positive nature um, with it when it comes down to when we talk about uh, water supply in Lake Casitas as being an option for them in the case of a dire emergency, the loss of uh, state water supply uh, for a long period of time. And I think if we can build that up, I want to call it pretty much as an insurance policy, for the um, uh, Cayegas, and whether it's in lieu water use through the city of Ventura or actual water delivery, uh, we can do either. We've got a lot of options. I've heard some consternation about putting water in Lake Casitas. I wouldn't cut that option off. It's just one of many in your toolbox to do. If you get a, a, a glut of water like we did uh, last year, uh, whether it was Article 21 water, City of Ventura doesn't have any place to put it, neither does Cayegas, unless you go to groundwater basins. And, uh, uh, you know, if you get that kind of opportunity, that may be what you want to do. But it's going to cost. You're going to have to pay for the wheeling charges that come through MET. You're going to have to pay the state for the water delivery itself. I mean, there's, there's some cost to it, but it's water in the bank to be able to get us through the long-term drought that we've just experienced over the last, well, since 2005, yeah. quite frankly. 2006. Yeah, yeah, my John, yeah. I, yeah, I think we're kind of getting kind of off the question before us, considerably off the question before us. And, and I just, I just want to point out that uh, the, the really the only question before us is whether we want to support and, go, uh, uh, the, uh, and join in with the request from these other agencies to ask Casitas for a formal definition of this connection between Casitas and uh, Ventura as a project for the purpose of formally starting the evaluation process of which is a whole a part of the whole list of questions you just went through. Right now there's no definition of that as a project by the board of directors and really that's all this is asking for is you don't know what the outcome of that evaluation is going to be but it starts by defining it as a project which hasn't happened to date. And I think that's Bill, really when you building. say defining, you're talking about announcing it as a project well, because they are engaged in it. No, you don't. Uh, Bert Rapp made this point very succinctly, as has Richard Aegis, as has other members of, of these other agencies. The first part of evaluating formally as a project, it, I mean, it, as a option, is to define it as a project, which has not the board has not even defined this as a project okay, but the yet. Goal or, and, and, the, and, and if you can't even answer any of these questions, like you can't even, to say you're going to wait until August to get an answer back before even defining it as a project, which you have to do before you even start doing, say, environmental ev evaluations. Okay. And I think really all this is op-ed is about is that please, board of directors move forward on making a decision whether that, that is going to be defined as a project or not. That's all this is. Okay, but that, and I'm going to go to Randy in just a second, but to address that, when you say that's all this is, uh, Russ has already said 
go ahead and do that, whatever right. whatever that is. And the pro the process, at least I'm hoping that everybody's getting out of this, is that it is factual uh, and that we are not uh, it, factual and clear. So, Randy. Well, uh, Steve, thank you for speaking. It rests you too. It's it's. Uh, I think that's what the, this community is asking for is the fact that. Um, uh, you, you know, there's a phrase I keep hearing, and that's failure to communicate. And um, if that, if I, I hear that all the time from everyone that I speak to, there is not a sense that you're communicating um, succinctly where you are, um, what you're trying to do, and how you're going to achieve it. Um, so there's a lot of gray out there, and I think that's something that you guys have to overcome as a board. You're just not communicating clearly what your goals are from something as simple as a declaration of this to all the things that you talked about and I, I can't help you with that um, and I think I think uh, I think you guys need to go back and actually ask yourselves um, everyone that's coming to our board meetings now are ranting and raving um, about things that we are not doing things that we haven't thought about we're doing or things that we need to do that would tell me I'm not telling them what we're doing you know, that would tell me I'm not communicating properly because that's, you're getting just too much pushback. And um, so I think, I, I think you might take that back to your board and ask yourselves, what could you do differently? Um, the second thing is, we said that, um, can we afford it? And the opposite of that is, can we not afford it? That's where we are as a community. Um, and I think that there's also one more transition that the community has made, and that's that we all recognize that water is never gonna be cheap again. And if we keep using that as the background as to how we're going to make decisions, is how do we keep this necessity or this need as cheap as possible? I agree that's not necessarily the worst way to look at it, but the reality is if you don't have it, it doesn't matter what it costs. And that's the fear that this community is seeing every day that they drive by that lake, is they just they don't have a sense of well-being that they had when that lake was half full, if not overflowing. I have the same feeling. And you guys have that yeah. same feeling, yeah. I know that. So again, to me, uh, this, this declaration that we're making today yeah. is a fair declaration. Um, I don't think it's a negative against you. It's more or less um, uh, uh, the community communicating back to you that this is what we need. Mm -hmm. I'd hope for, hopefully you take it back to your board and you make a clear declaration. Um, and then I hope, hopefully you start communicating um, on a regular basis um, about where you are, um, you, know, where, you know, where you're going, um, and what tomorrow may, may bring, you know, that um, it, it just makes sense to me, and I, and I think that's what's lacking here. Okay. So, uh Susan, did you have anything you want to say? I've been on <laughs> my back to it, uh, I apologize. Well, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if we, I think we addressed uh, what's his name, Bert, the man who spoke last night? Because he said if we don't, if... No, that was Bert. Who was that? Um, oh, that was Gene. Gene, Gene. okay, Gene. <laughs> uh, maybe you can help me out. He was, I don't know how to phrase it, but he said that if Casitas doesn't act now, that they lose the opportunity, that we could lose the opportunity. Yeah, they, and they, yeah that's a good question, and that is kind of what we're... Uh, I think everybody understands time as we, we started the thing out. Time's not our friend, uh, but uh, you can only move as fast as you can move. There is a concern that we're not moving as fast as we could move. Uh, is there, in your view, in Casitas' view, uh, a window of opportunity here that we could miss, as has been suggested by a number of people, that if we don't partner with these people, they will do something on their own and we'll be left out? I, I don't feel that. I, I, I think that the situation if it is, is common among everybody at the table. Um, I think it's just a matter of coming to the right project that satisfies everybody. No, I, I think everybody is there at the table involved in, in, in discussing this. There hasn't been anything like I, you know, I, I don't disagree that I, I wish this thing would be faster. Uh, quite frankly, I wish those that were of management back in 1990 would have gotten this moved forward too, but <laughs> now here we are. It, 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 it's a process, and uh, it, uh, I, don't, I don't agree with uh, that, that we're in, in, in jeopardy of losing the opportunity. Everybody knows that we're at the table. Everybody knows that we have a situation uh, with uh, water supply. We're still drought central. 
of California, and that this will help. Uh, this will help get it get it solved. It's okay. just going to take time to get done. Okay, so that that kind of goes back. Bill, you you made the the point, and I think that is the crux of the thing. What is lacking is whether you call it a definition of a project or the the objective to to be in order to yeah in, in order to uh, to let people know. This is what we're going to, or we're trying to do, and this is the kind of a general timeline that nature has imposed on us, and then this is the timeline that practicality and engineering is imposing on us, and you know, kind of pull that together because there'll be people again at your board meeting, and I'll probably be one of them saying, "Could you tell us that uh, you're committed to doing this?" Uh, I've, I've talked with you guys privately, and it's, it seems like you're doing like 99% right. of what everybody, uh, not everybody, but what most of the people seem to want to do for security. Uh, and it, it, we just have to find a way that that is communicated. You can't communicate it if you haven't made you the haven't declaration. You haven't taken action on it. And, so. and it, Mayor Johnson, it can be broadly defined that you just, you're mm -hmm. going to make it a project to how best to be able to take delivery of state water that we've been paying for the ability to take uh, over all these years. Right, and right. just just make that a formal board decision, you know, that's going to communicate to the public we're adopting that as a project for evaluation. One of the things I will check and, back on. And, and, and that's, I think that's that's really all this is all this letter is about and the other agencies are asking yeah. for. No, I, I think the, uh, the letter, quite frankly, is a good endorsement for putting it out there and when we do come around uh, and uh, uh, finalize this project and we talk about the full scope and the full cost, that's when you know decisions will be made even further. But I think this is endorsement to recognize that, yeah, we do have water shortage going on and that we need to do what we can to bolster our portfolio for water supply. And that's the bottom line to it, I think, is protect us long term. Okay, Russ, did you want to? Yeah. The interconnection project is your best hope that the rest of the project is going to get done. Casitas is not going to be able to uh, <coughs> build a pipeline through the city of Ventura without the, without the city being a partner. And we're not going to be able to wheel water from Metropolitan through Callegas without Callegas. So getting started with this project is your best hope that the rest of it is going to happen because once you bring all those parties together, synergy happens and a larger population will, will help pay for it. Casitas by itself with 70,000 people living within the district is not going to be able to do it. We need those other partners. So just wait for it. I can't tell you what else to do, but be patient. Okay, this, uh, this, this administrative <laughs> process takes time. When you do an EIR, it takes at least a year to get the, 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 um, the document completed. You're, you're right yeah. in many ways, but the, the difficulty with making the message that way, trust us, the problem is, they don't trust us, so we need to build that trust through information. Be, and stop, it sounds like what we're talking about this morning. But you've got to stop asking Casitas to shoulder the the entire burden. That's not going to happen. Yeah, we well, need that. We need well, those is. partners. You know, I, I think this is the this is the, this is the crux of what we're talking about, and we need some assurance that we're not going to miss the boat, so to speak. That we know we've got two other main partners that have very vital interests that should make them interested in sitting at the table, and they are sitting at the table, but we're not getting anything, <coughs> uh, you know, it, we need to get that message out more, but as, as Bill said, probably the best way well, to do it is to have a, a public uh, a declaration that this is the objective of the Casitas, well, not Bill, to do it themselves, but to try to make this thing happen. Well, I'm in the same boat. Bill, you saw how I stumbled around yeah. at, at, at Steve Bennett's office. Yes. Because I, I don't know what they're talking about at the table. But, but he knows. But they want, but he but wasn't I, there. The public wants some action on the part of the board. Uh, that's the bottom line. Well, well, com you'll, commitment. You'll get a commitment or, or declaration or something. You'll, you'll get it. Yeah. You'll get it. At when the, we get the well, this, information. That's all this is asking for. Is Yeah, right. Well, you, nobody's resisting for the board this. to do we're it. just trying to be sure okay. that we're not that's saying great. something. And, and sooner rather than later. Yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll get it. Don't, not to worry.
Well, you know, we're not going to we're not going to start. Or at yeah. least the people who talk no, to me. No, you can worry if you want to, but there will there will be action taken yeah. when we get all the information in front of us. And you wouldn't do that with a, a major project in the city either. You'd want to have everything in front of you before you commit to it, wouldn't you? No, not necessarily. I, 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 well, then that's not f good fiduciary business. Well, well, well okay. When you say commitment, it's, an, it's, it's, a, it's a, de a declaration of intent is different from signing a legal, yeah. we're, a we're, legal, a legal, um, it's not. Well, it is kind of. I mean, you could prejudice yourself. Okay, but what we're, we're what what I guess what I would like to see I can't speak for others is I would like to see a statement that says this is what we Casitas uh, are committed to make happen if you know if all if everything comes together everybody's going to have to share we said it in the op ed piece which is that we're all going to have to bear our share we're going to have to coordinate uh, but that one thing seems to keep escaping us for some reason i'm not quite sure why and i guess that creates the suspicion is why cannot the board of directors just make a policy statement that if you know if economically and physically possible we want to make available the backup of a conjunctive use with the whole area, including state water. Can, we, could, we could do that, because that, that, that is not really a commitment. That's a, that's a good wish. Yes. Well, you know, it, it's a it, well, statement of intent. Now, we all have intents that we maybe can't uh, deliver on, but the circumstances and the data that you're looking for may say this, is, this isn't going to happen. But on the other hand, if that's it right. can happen, we, we just want to be able to say to everybody, look, you know, <laughs> there's somebody steering the ship. You know, there are people there. Uh, it's something more than just, you know, trust us uh, or don't worry. Not worry. It's yeah. economically uh, good sense. Um, I'm, I, I almost said it. Um, you will get, you will get uh, a decision. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Steve, yeah. Steve, well, Steve was lurking. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you know, this is, uh, I don't Mayor, know if I want to. Just, just one more thing. Just, okay, just this, this is the same, guys. This is the same thing. This discussion that we're having right now is the same thing. This public's hearing every friggin' day, and it, it's a circle of nothing. I don't think that. No, seriously. No, I it's don't. a circle of nothing. Again, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Um, to me, there's just this major fear of failure, and you know what? Um, failure is not. Failure is not an option right now. You know that? You need to, to move as, f as we forward. We need to move, all of us. All of us, yes. Fine. Yeah, as, as quickly as we can, as methodically and as thoughtful as we can, and we can't be afraid of falling on our friggin' noses. We'll pick ourselves up, we'll dust ourselves off, and we'll keep moving forward. But the community is seeing this circle. And I just saw another circle conversation going on here. You know, it'd be real simple to say, we hear you, we'll get back to it, this is what we're going to do. Instead, I get the, yeah, but you know, and you know, and you know. And that's the issue right now, you guys. Well, and part of the issue is, is attacking the very people yeah, that well, we you know something. You can call it an attack. I'm just telling you what oh, I'm seeing, I think, okay, and, and I'm okay, and I'm just and personally, I'm tired of it. I think we can do better, okay? And I'm not going to sit here and keep defending failure. Let's move forward. Okay. Well, I, nobody's defending failure. We're trying to get clarity, and we're oh, trying. You go again. You're defending it. Well, I'm going to I'm going to jump right in here and suggest that this letter is a friendly ask. Mm -hmm. The op-ed is right. a friendly ask, uh, and, and I, I'd like to move that we um, do uh, endorse this letter as a friendly ask in terms of joining with the other agencies. I'll second it. Okay. okay. Would you consider uh, that, that we do consider, uh, see this, the, the changes that Bill Miley took a lot of trouble to make uh, are not unusual, you know, when you're writing a letter, and, and, and I think is there some way to do this so that um, I have time to possibly yeah. incorporate some of the changes? Or are you just well, may I, may I make a comment on that? Uh -huh. the, the problem with that, and, and the mayor can maybe chime in whether I'm being accurate or not, this is a multi-agency letter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And if we start making changes, that further delays yeah. our ability to take action on it. 
Right. Yeah, we already have made a huge uh, change in both you know, tone and clarity, I think. Right. It's a collective effort, not just mine. So I, uh, I, and I think we, if we stay with it, I think what Bill has brought up, he's, he's right. There are a lot of things I think we could put in, in you know, parentheses, I think, rain to, in order to say what local water is so that, that it doesn't sound like we're talking about just piping in uh, water, but that doesn't even seem to be off the table. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I, just, I, I think okay. we, we won't be able to get anything done or in, in a timely way if we start to wordsmith it. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I appreciate Bill's input, but at this point, I think the, the basic meaning of the letter, right. we shouldn't delay it anymore, and it's good enough to join with these other agencies right. now. Okay, we have a motion and a second to that. Uh, uh, well, I still want to go over the letter because I'm not, and I, to make sure. Um, I would really like, you know, I have two or th just two or three simple things uh, for you to consider. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> not in, I won't do it in order, but at the very last paragraph, I still think it should say, we are asking for a formal commitment and then spell out the board of directors. Casitas Municipal Water, even though we state it twice, just because sometimes the newspaper takes something like this and, and turns it into a quote, you know, in a little box, you know what I'm talking about? So if they, you, just, you know, would you... What, what do you... Uh, the very it's, it's uh, the says, last paragraph, yeah. we are asking for a formal commitment from Casitas Water... Um, okay. I mean, you know, just spell it out. Just spell it out. I'm okay with that, as long as that doesn't... Uh, as long as we're still able to take action yeah. on this letter now and yeah. get the other agencies to yeah. go with it, and I think then, they would do that. Um, groundwater, I just want to make sure there's no typos in it. Um, well, we have a chance to have the, the clerk's office. Okay, she'll, she'll check for typos. And then, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm on board, but I would still prefer that it do not say the extraordinary efforts, because I don't feel like we've made, have we, I mean, the original letter said laudable, I was more comfortable Where with that. that? Uh, the first paragraph. Despite assurances of safe yield and the extraordinary efforts to conserve water. Well, just statistically, we have done extraordinarily well. Okay. Yeah. If you're fine with it, then... We're I'm among the best in the state. Right. Okay. Okay. On a per capita basis, yeah. On a per capita All right. basis. Yeah. All right. And I just, in my mind, extraordinarily means... Uh, you know, <laughs> well, we're above ordinary for the state okay. average compared okay. to state average. All right, I'm fine with it then. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, and and is there any problem if we just put in that parenthetically rain after the local water so that it may assure people that we're not talking about trying to pump recycled water from Ventura into our lake? Okay, uh, those seem to be the kind of the. the Key points. Okay. Uh, okay. Are you, are you yeah, good? Yeah, I'm fine. So I'll, 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 I accept the amendments to my motion. Okay. Uh, so um, I don't know. Do we uh, you know, call the roll? Might as well. I so, so, don't think we need it. But do you, do you need something? Oh. Was there a second on the Randy motion? Randy second. Yeah. Ah, okay. Right. Thank you. Mayor Johnston? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Haney? Yes. Council Member oh. Council Member Francina? Okay. I just I want to ask, if we go with this, it's, they're already on board, the other signatures. Is that correct? The I other think it's uh, mine, I, mine or Well, the, uh, I sent copy of this. Uh, I, this is not going to bother anybody over there. But I sent it to uh, Krumschmidt, who was one of the instrumental people in it this morning, and said we would be dealing with it, send him a copy of this, and he sent back a thumbs up that they were okay, okay with it. Okay, yes, yes. So I think, you know, if we... You know, this isn't the, be the you know the end of it. This is the beginning of. Uh, yes. Do I get to vote? Do it. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. Remember Wyrick? No. 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 Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah. Call yeah. Everybody else. <laughs> yes, I said yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, I appreciate. Yeah. No, I. I I'm yeah. Okay. Interested in your comments? I just want to make sure I got. I'm going to encourage Bill Miley to write his own letter. Yeah. He's done uh, so much work. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I yeah. would rather somebody else have <laughs> done that all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you guys and there is a meeting today and I guess we want to be sure we're there and uh, I encourage you know I, I understand the frustration but uh, I don't think the bluster is helping uh, 
It's making people more nervous. I'm not talking about casitas. It's just making the community. If, if we can't come to some agreement ourselves, how are we going to expect the uh, casitas people to do it? I think we're at a, at a stage where there have been two major movements on their part. We had the, when you, I think you were at the meeting when uh, our representative, uh, Mr. Bagley, uh, said to the water coordinating group at Bennett's office that he had evolved on the issue it's with regard to state water. And uh, the uh, comments that have been coming from the administration are encouraging. Uh, I agree with Randy. We don't want to keep doing this. Time is running out. Uh, uh, our options are going to run out along with the time. So, okay. I think this was, oh. Ahead, I just want to say, I think this was very productive. Nine o'clock in the morning, they showed up. That alone is, was worth, you know, continuing the meeting. And, and Bill, you were gone when I said this. I hope that you write your own letter. You know, I, I, I want to go through your changes. They're great. They're great additions. And I hope you understand why we went forward with what we have so that we don't have to do a, you know, we have to, because it's a joint letter, not just from us. And, and so, Mayor Johnson, I yeah. will have a, a final comment mm -hmm. as well, and that is I think if you listen carefully, one of the key issues here is I think the community wants Casitas to take a formal lead position on something, and they, they have yet to do that. Right, and they are the party who should be doing it, right. and they are the, uh, the only uh, entity that can really can do it. Right. And so all the other stuff is mostly us, you know, just right. kind of trying to crowd them into doing it. And it's understandable that it's, this is a big deal. And I think that's uh, part of the frustration. They keep talking about other agencies being lead on this or that. Well, and yeah. we want Casitas to be a lead on the issues that are critical uh, that have not be, yet been covered with anyone being well, they, lead. Well, they need to be the lead for us yes. in right. talking to our group. Yes. Not, uh, uh, Ventura clearly is the one that represents the group, but if we don't have a sense that we're talking with with Ventura, no wonder people are nervous. Well, they could be lead on a defined project that's not currently covered by the interconnect. Correct. That's the point. That's correct, right. And there's no one lead on that yet. Right. And it's, it, it, since we're all going to have to share in everything, we need get, to get in-kind credit for whatever we do on right. a separate project. Exactly. And not end up, you know, putting that burden on the people here in the valley. Exactly. Randy? You know, Mayor, I just, um, just a quick follow-up. You, you know, I started out my conversation with them being very polite and telling them what I felt they needed to do, and that was to communicate with the with this citizenry better. And then I, then they come up, and then you get the runaround again. Um, and that's the, that's the, the, the that's a problem that they have. And that's where the frustration lies within me and also in the community. Um, but didn't, didn't Russ say right at his last remark that he would do it? Now it remains to be seen if he does do it. Well, you know, that's what's interesting. You know, I was looking back at my notes. We started this conversation 6 3 15 when the lake was at 50%. Here we are at 6 what? 12, 6 13? Okay, and we're at 30 some percent. And the question then was, what changes were we going to make? That was three years ago. And we're in the same position that we are today that we were three years ago, other than we have more public awareness. And that we're, as a city, thinking of doing more regarding stormwater capture and things of that nature. But the reality is they haven't moved. And I think the citizenry is actually saying, you guys need to move. Okay, well, I, I, uh, I, I have to differ with you on the statement that nothing has changed. A lot has changed uh, in the outer world as far as the economics of this and the willingness of Metropolitan and for Cayegas and the things that make this possible. I do agree with you that it shouldn't have taken this long for a public statement to be made about what is, what the goal is and what they're doing or the right. definition of the project. So hopefully, you know, the language, maybe people aren't, maybe we're not getting our message to them, but it's times, times are wasting and we need to, to keep pressing them. I think that they uh, understand, it's unfortunate that they don't, they have a vacancy right now, but did he say they were interviewing or? Yeah. 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 But, it, but yeah. here's yeah, another, Mr. Merkling, uh, but, but here's resigned. another issue they have. Even with the even with the uh, uh, Three Sisters plan, you know they could have came out and said clearly that you know what we appreciate the work, the hard work that that WAG has done, and we're going to do a peer review of it, and then we're going to bring it back, and after that review, we're going to make a decision on do we accept that as something that we can do as a as a district moving forward, or the peer review says you know what there's some other facts and things that are missing. They have it missing. They haven't even done that. That, that, again, they're, 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 they are a slow-moving snail on downers. 
They are, I mean, they are just moving incredibly slow. And, and they're a bright group of guys, and they've got a good board. They, it just shouldn't, shouldn't be this way. Well, sometimes when you think you know what you're doing and you're tending to business, uh, I guess maybe I, my empathy for some of this is during the fire, we had people working round the clock here in our uh, emergency center. I was here every day, two or three times a day. I was in the center. I was down at the coordinating center. I was meeting with state legislature. Bill was out on the street, <laughs> some, for better or for worse in some cases. But we were out yeah. there. We went door to door. I was checking on the gables and the retirement homes and all that. But I was so busy doing that nobody was communicating what was happening and uh, we all took a beating uh, on the social media where are they what are they doing well the results were good but people still think we right. uh, weren't doing our job when we were so i'm maybe it's overly optimistic of me but i'm believing they're doing their job and they just do not have yet the uh, uh, the skills and the willingness to to let everybody know mm -hmm. and if it turns out they're not doing their job well now will be the moment of truth but uh, I my conversation and the stuff I saw over at Casitas is going along very much with what the wag and what uh, we've been saying uh, not not 100 percent but why not then announce it why not declare exactly. it and that's kind of what the this editorial <laughs> yes. piece is about so I think we're we're doing our part and you're doing your part we're <laughs> trying you know kind of rough everybody up a little and get them to pay attention yeah mr uh, mayor yeah um if if you're if the co-signers approve it would you consider change we can still change the title there's yeah, no yeah, because i like, yeah, I I like the uh, and 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 if it's too long to spell it out we you can just put casita's board of water needs to take the next step because that's really what this is about. Yeah. Well, so you let's, realize when we submit when you, this, it's yeah, not going to be printed just exactly as we do at the newspaper. Yeah, the, yeah. the paper will. It, yeah, yeah, but let's put that as the suggested title. Paper will sometimes do the title. Yeah, yeah, they, whenever you, they, they usually do, you. but I think that that would be a better suggestion than the current title. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you got that. Okay. You yeah. Is it well? It, we don't have anything on the the agenda. It's just a general comment. Oh, okay. So I, I rushed after Steve Wick. So I wanted to ask him about the the uh, Gene's comment last night about a pipe coming directly from Calegas over to the Ojai Valley. Yeah. They know nothing about that. They know something about him. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the second thing is, I believe that. If they hire a resource manager who has a background in water, not necessarily just public relations like the other guy, I think maintaining an active networking relationship between our city and him, because I want to get to know him right away, because I like people like that, so that we constantly have communication feeding back. We ask, he provides, he provides, we thank him, this sort of thing. I think that's a real key issue. Right. And they have, they, they need to, you know, we need to push them, but they need to assume that responsibility mm -hmm. and, and yeah. perform it. The things we're talking about doing on our own is because there's a vacuum. Right. It needs to get done. Uh, right. Otherwise, we're exactly. going to waste a whole lot of energy with people needlessly uh, worrying and then fighting with each other. Uh, yeah, okay. exactly. Okay, well, thanks, right. guys. This, I, uh, I guess we couldn't have done it very well last night anyway. With, but we did get the, the people we needed to talk to. Yeah, that was wonderful. Them, so. That was great. Well, thank them for coming. Congratulations, okay. everyone. Yeah, okay. So meeting adjourned. Uh, and, uh,